so um, three and a half months ago, I wrote an open letter to myself, and I was planning to film it immediately, but like, you know, procrastination happened. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna read the letter uh, now. Dear me, you've probably noticed this, but people don't really listen to one another. That sentence makes it sound like I'm judging people for not listening, but I'm not. Listening to people is boring. They always stumble around looking for the right words to use, and then they finally find them. Their thoughts usually weren't worth listening to anyway. But you have to listen to people sometimes. If you never listen to people, you'll end up living in an echo chamber of your own opinions, and trust me, you do not want to live like that. People who live like that aren't happy, and they usually have really crappy beliefs. I'm writing this letter to you because a few weeks ago, I joined debate. Debate sounds like the sort of thing that would make you better at listening to people. I mean, you do spend all day hearing people talk, right? The problem with debate is that when you're listening to people, you're not listening to them so that you can figure out whether or not they're right. You're listening to them to figure out why they're wrong. Yesterday I asked one of my classmates, what you do in debate when you're wrong? And she laughed at me. In debate, you're never wrong, she said. But that's the problem. Everybody messes up sometimes. If you don't lose an argument sometimes, then you're doing it wrong. Debate won't teach you how to recognize when you're wrong. It won't teach you how to find truth. It'll teach you how to make what you're saying sound right, even if it's not. It will teach people how to believe what you tell them. And that skill can be very dangerous if nobody teaches you when you should and shouldn't use it. So I'm writing this letter with the assumption that when you read it again, you'll still be a human. And being a human means that your brain works in a very, very specific way. You see, your brain isn't made for thinking. You might think that it's made for thinking, but it's not. It's really made for something else. Surviving. Sometimes in order to survive, your brain must think, and so that's what it does. But thinking takes up precious energy, and so your brain does as little of it as it possibly can. Once your brain has found what looks like a right answer, it shuts off and stops thinking. In debate, your brain looks for a flaw in your opponent's argument, and once you've found it, you stop thinking. You don't think about why your opponent might be right, or how their argument would make more sense if they just changed it a little bit. Those things aren't going to win you the debate, and that's fine in debate. Outside of debate, though, the point of arguing isn't to see who's more clever. It's to find out who's right and who's wrong. And you're not going to be able to do that unless you actually consider the possibility that you could be wrong. And by consider, I don't mean acknowledge that it's possible. I mean, like, actually think about it. Like, sit down and argue both sides. And don't even, don't even think of an argument as having sides. Think of it as a search with people looking in different areas. And there's one last thing, probably the most important. Don't be a jerk. In debate, you get extra points if you can make your opponent look like an idiot, but in real life, that just means you won't have any friends.